Bay. B. Muy. You know how they say a picture is worth a thousand words? Back then, I used to take a lot of photos when I traveled, and one of my favorite photos I've ever taken was of a monk at Angkor Thom. The problem, though, is that I don't think I capture any video. Oh no, it's been a minute. When's the last time I used Thunderbolt? If only I had the cameras that I have now back then, I would have for sure made a movie on that trip. I'm not even sure if this thing still works. We're talking about original Thunderbolt in 2015. I think I was using the 5D Mark III on that trip. Just as I suspected, I only grabbed one video clip. After looking through a couple old photos, I felt inspired. I knew there was a story I wanted to tell, but couldn't quite figure it out at that moment. So I started storyboarding key moments from that trip in 2015. But it just wasn't enough. I knew if I really wanted to recreate this moment, I had to take a trip back to Cambodia. But before I left, I had to decide which camera to bring with me. Sony? Canon? Red? My iPhone? Nah. Oh, the Black Magic Cinema Camera 6K Pro. It's got the older EF mount. I went with the 7300, 1635, 50, and 85. It has a 5 inch tilting touchscreen monitor, and one of my favorite features is the built in NDs. I brought six batteries with me because I'm not a fan of bulky setups when I travel. As for memory, I went with a couple of Lexar CFast 2.0 cards. Now it's finally time to go. We out. You're probably thinking, what does this guy know about Cambodia? Well, growing up in Oakland, a lot of my friends were Khmer. Being that I'm part Vietnamese, I understood the struggles of what it was like growing up with a family that were refugees of war. I always had some of the homies tell me like, bro, if you ever make it out there, tell me what it's like. So this video is for y'all. It's probably not all of Cambodia, but some of the things I got to see and experience. And that's where our journey begins. And see him rip. Once upon a time, Angkor Wat was one of the largest cities on earth. And Angkor Wat is just one of hundreds of temples that make up the Angkor Heritage Site. For this journey, I was with two of my friends from college, David and Zeke. This was their first time in Cambodia. From the Hindu and Buddhist symbols to seeing monks carrying on with their daily lives, exploring the temples felt like a window into the past. They even filmed Tomb Raider here. One of my favorite things about traveling is meeting and interacting with locals. I thought it was crazy how something I experienced eight years ago hasn't really changed much. Whenever I hear the sounds of local instruments, I always stop everything I'm doing, trying to fully immerse myself into the country since I know I'm not here for a long time. Sometimes when you're out exploring, you get really lucky and find pockets of peace. After a long day, we grabbed a quick bite with some local dishes. I was trying to find a boho, but nowhere to be found. We made our way over to Anchor Tom to try to find that spot where I took my favorite photo eight years ago. And after getting permission from the chief, I couldn't even believe it myself, but it happened. You 
know how they say the picture is worth a thousand words, but a memory is priceless. The next morning, we woke up at 3 a.m. to catch sunrise at Anchor Walk. Also know that you'll be joining hundreds of other people here at the same time. For me personally, I don't really like large crowds, so I found a spot on the side where I enjoyed my sunrise in peace. Later on that day, we made our way to a nearby river, also known as Harbor of the Tusk. It was a nice getaway from the city to see what life was like on the countryside. Seeing people so happy like this really replenished my spirit. Zeke grabbed some drone shots and the kids got super excited. He even let one of the kids fly around for a little bit. The last stop we made was over to Pub Street and you don't want to miss this if you're ever in town. It's times like this that reminds me of how much I tend to overcomplicate my life. In 2015, things were more simple. I'm glad this time around I brought an actual cinema camera to capture new memories. To everyone back at home, I hope I did y'all motherland justice. Shout out to our guys, Servan and Ferdin. And to the Rally Boys, it's been five years since the last time we did this.